see. How do I continue this build? Eh. Unfortunately, they're... It's just, like, kind of hard to work with because of the, uh... Size of things with this little hole that we put into the side of it. Doesn't make it, uh... Things don't, like, really divide all that evenly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. I'm trying to decide what I need to do with myself now. We've kind of hit a bit of an impasse for uh, things to do. You just gotta be creative. Oh, no. You can come over here and decorate. I don't really feel like decorating, though. I like Tell making... Tell Martha Stewart. I want to go to prison. She didn't go to prison. Yeah, she if did. If she went to prison, it was for, like, what, six months? You could... Anybody can do six months in jail. That's like a vacation at that point, honestly. If somebody was like, hey, Bird, you're going to go away to prison for, like, six months, I'd be like, finally, get some peace and quiet. Because there is no more peaceful of a place than prison. You're right. She was in prison for five months and then house arrest for five more. Wow. If I committed that level of fraud... I'd be in there for, like, years. Wow, you're just gonna rail on the 1% like that? Jeez. Famous. I thought you were better. Just because you happen to have, um... Untold riches? Yes. Yeah. Well, this kind of works. It's like a different-looking window type of thing. Yeah. And it fits in. It's the right size. Let's go ahead and plonk this baby in here. Oh, it's too big. There will be no ba baby plonking after all, then. Plonk goes the baby. Plonk a bye, baby. Or the tree top. Put this uh, other piece down. <clears throat> Maybe that will fit in. Aw, oh, man, it won't. Okay. Just imagining, like, you having kids and them just picking up really weird habits. And, like, mannerisms. Like, um... Uh, yeah. They're gonna come out being like, Smeagol, Smeagol, Bagel, Foigel. They're going to be so Jewish, everybody's going to be so confused. Because <laughs> they're going to be presumably half Indian and, like, not really Jewish looking at all. But, like, uh -huh. the most Jewish kids you know, and you're like, huh. <laughs> oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, oh, okay, good. You put uh... down a block, and I put down a platform, and, like, uh... Um, oh and one and of I those was... one, and the other one, yeah. well... And there I, were problems. I, I, I started walking forward and landed on the staircase directly. Fuck. Directly below. You know what? I'm gonna fix this problem. Okay, there we go. That is now a load bearing rotator majigger. We should probably connect <laughs> it to the ground. Uh... But this way, we're no longer competing for, uh, real estate or anything. Okay. Did you ever get into, like, making houses and stuff in Minecraft, or did you just, like, go for resources? I... I did a lot of mining... Uh -huh. Just because I loved it when I would find, like, new caves and stuff. The problem with, Yeah, like, that making... was always really fun. The problem with, like, making houses is, like... I wanted, um... I wanted, uh, creative mode because I didn't feel like gathering the resources. Yeah, because gathering the resources for big builds is really, really, really it's hard. so sucky. Like, I never want to do that. it takes so long. Like, if it was, like, some kind of challenge or I'm, like, doing it for YouTube, like, if we were doing a race, uh -huh. like, make the best house in three hours go, like, okay, I could justify that. 
And everybody would have just, like, the shittiest houses because we all just die or something. But... Yeah. That's not how it would play out, though. No, usually what i do is make, like, this tower. Just monolithic tower. Tower? Yeah. That's kind of weird. Yeah, I know. I, I don't, like, build big, generally. Huh. Yeah, every time I try to do a very big type of build, I was just kind of really annoyed with it by the end, because I could never get the resources for it. I remember one time I tried to make a building entirely out of obsidian. Oh, God, why? Dude, that was the worst idea I ever had. Because it's just like, mining individual blocks of obsidian takes like 10 seconds a piece or something horrible like that. Yeah. Like, just no... I reiterate, why? I don't know. I thought it'd be a good idea at the time. I was very, very wrong. I just experienced some serious full frontal grundleage. I was Did not comfortable. Did you peer over a ledge that you were not ready for? Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. You know, the grundle must get some workouts every once in a while. But it's more of like a tingle with me. It doesn't clench. It just like tingles in the well, wrong the, way. Well, the grundle can't clench. What's the grundle gonna clench onto? I can totally clench my grundle. Huh. Weird. It's very muscular. Wandabot is the Kegel master, apparently. I don't know. You get bored in math class and you're like, alright, what can I do to amuse myself? Turns out Kegels. Nobody knows. That's true. The more you know. <laughs> okay, let's see. I need to put this thing in place. There we are. That ended up, that ends up working out kind of nice looking. Did you ever watch all those like really weird dubbed over um G.I. Joe things. Oh, the G.I. Joe ones? Yeah. Like, um... The, uh... I think my favorite was the one where these two kids are like... Like, they're, they're like, we're gonna go, like... so uh, Like, before we have sex again, we're gonna go ahead and, like, smoke some marijuana. And then, like, a Jamaican guy appears in the window of their bathroom and just starts, like, going, like... Do you wanna make a into baby? I put the guy deep Like, in a patois type of yeah. thing. Yeah, I um, remember that one. And then the, uh, and then they start, like, singing the song together in a really high-pitched voice. I like that one. Those are fucking great, and I have no idea They're why. They're all really funny. Why Any they were made. Yeah. It just seems like such a non-sequitur of, like, why would anybody go through the trouble of doing this? But, thank oh, no. you. No. Thank but you, good sir. But they made, like, 40 of them. There's so many. Made by, like, one person. Yeah. Didn't they go on, like, to make, like, a Titmouse or something studio, if I remember? I have no idea. If I remember, they ended up, like, making C-Lab or something like that later. Oh, I kind of look this up. I can totally see that. Yeah. Maybe I'm misremembering entirely, but I remember some, it was kind of something like that. I saw something earlier that was kind of neat that, um, uh, let's see, Avenue Q inspired Book of Mormon. Which was inspired... Yeah, and then Book of Mormon was inspired by... Av uh, uh, no. Avenue Q was inspired, Avenue Q was by, inspired South by the South Park movie. Yeah. yeah. You probably saw that on Reddit earlier today. I thought that was really neat. Uh, I oh, you think just I already it? knew that. Yeah. Alright, whatever. Because I used to be really into musicals in high school. That was the start of my theater days. And also the peak of them. I wasn't that into them, and I had an ex-girlfriend that was, like, really into them. Uh, specifically Avenue Q. Because and when we were growing up at, like, musicals were super duper popular, especially amongst, like, high school girls. Yeah. Well, so, my ex-girlfriend would sing, uh, If You Were Gay, or whatever that one is. 
Uh, yeah. No, everyone's a little... No. I forget what it is. There's an Avenue Q song that you're talking about. I just don't remember what it's called. Yeah. But she would sing specifically that one. And I should uh -huh. have taken it as a hint because she came out as gay to me. Maybe like a couple months later. That's pretty damn funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's really fun. That's really... Wow. Yep. I mean, I remember uh, in high school, I had uh, gay friends that were like still in the closet or whatever. And it was just like, dude, you are not fooling anybody. And then a couple of years later, they all come out of the closet. I had this weird situation where I had this uh, transsexual friend. Everybody knew uh -huh. he was trans. But like one day he just sat us down and he's like, you know, guys, I'm, 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 you know, transsexual, and we're like, yeah, we got it. We know. <laughs> this is, we knew from the moment we met you that you were very, yeah. very trans, <laughs> and he was like, or she was actually like really upset about this because you know, it was this like defining Must be a thing. big thing, yeah, and we just like totally ruined it. <laughs> uh, I mean, it was mostly fine. And, like, even her parents mm -hmm. knew, like, from age, like, young as hell. Oh, because, I mean, let's be honest. The signs, they come early and and strong. Like, from every every gay person that I've talked to or other sexuality that I've talked to says, like, uh, that, they, that they have stories that their parents told them from when they were, like, four. When they were doing, like, really, really obvious, like, oh, yeah, they're gonna... They're gonna be gay. Uh, unfortunately, I don't remember any top of my off the top of my head. But uh, oh well. Um, I don't know why that's an unfortunate thing. I guess it's just because you couldn't supply it with a example there. The sad thing is the parents still were like unhappy about them being trans, but they had like known since the kid was like three that they were like uh -huh. effeminate. So it's just like, how can you be like against your kid being trans? But had, like, 15 years to get used to this idea. Like, how... What? How did people, like, as parents, still be uncomfortable with that? Like, still surprises me, but whatever. Um, but, so, I would actually have to give this poor kid a ride. Uh, cause she, uh -huh. her parents would not bring her anywhere. But unfortunately, that Yikes. also meant I had to babysit her. So, like, uh... We once went to the fair, and she didn't tell me this, but she had to be home by, like, five. And we got there at three, uh -huh. so, like, two hours later... You were later, at the fair like, for two hours? Uh, two hours later, I have to bring this person home, otherwise <laughs> the parents are going to get angry at me. And I'm like, I didn't. I said I'd pick you up. I didn't say I'd take care of you, and this is ridiculous. And that was the last time I actually invited them to anything. It's like, I'm not discriminating because I, I resent you for your sexuality... I'm not- I'm discriminating against you because- Because you're a bad planner. Yeah, you- you are the antithesis of me and everything I stand for because I'm very- I mean, you- I'm sure you've noticed, but I'm very, like, particular about, like, knowing what the plan is, not exactly going into things, like, half-cocked. So, like, timing yeah. and whatnot. Yep. And, uh... I really I, like the Baba yet too. Like every remix I've heard of Bobby Yetu, I'm like, yep, I'm I can get into this one. Are, are you listening to Bobby good Yetu? Song. It's on. It's a remix of Bobby Yetu, dude. What the fuck? What OC remix channel am I listening to then? I don't know. <laughs> I'm listening to like a Sonic thing. What? Oh, I'm listening to a way better thing than that. I'm listening to like a a rock and a rock ballad version of Bobby Yetu, and I'm like, yeah, this is cool. I'm I can dig this. This Wait. is neat looking. What are you making over here? I like it. Yeah. Somebody said in chat, my or Ladybird said in chat, my gay best my best gay friend used to sing along to Whitney Houston when he was four. His parents knew immediately. Yeah, like a lot of my gay friends have like stories like that. Of like singing along to like Madonna when they were like four or five years old. Yeah, this is a much like, better... only wanting to play with, like, Barbie dolls and stuff. I... So what OC remix were you on? 
I, I was I, I was on their like downloaded OC remix thing. Oh, I see nothing in browser one. Yeah, it turns out they yeah. sometimes get desynced for some reason. That's really, really strange. Yeah. This is much better than whatever Sonic shit you were probably listening to. I think it was like nice. Baba Yetu is a really, really good song. It is. I don't remember who composed it, but like it was like their it won like, a huge thing for it. Didn't they win like a Grammy or something? Yeah. It was like actually god damn it. It was actually like super impressive even for like well, especially for video games cuz it never happens that anybody gets awards for video game music or at least right. at the time. I don't remember how many people were just angry about Civ 2 or not Civ 2 uh Civ 5. Civ 4. This is Civ 4. Oh, okay. Bobby uh, Anthony was Civ 4. Yeah, just how many people were, like, angry about Civ Five being... whatever. I uh, like Civ Five, but... I mean, after playing enough Civ Five, I realized I kind of hate Civ Five. It's a, it's a weird game. I've never, like, grown to dislike a game after initially liking it. I think the, the thing is, there's, like, so little variety, you're like, I don't really have a yeah. lot of interest in, like, experiencing this anymore. The problem with Civ Five is that it was really subject to like the same thing that I hate about Risk, wherein you can always tell who's gonna win Risk pretty much immediately. Yeah. Same thing always happened with Civ Five. I have that problem in Endless Legends. Sometimes I can have like a totally breaker run, but a lot of the times it's just yeah. like so. Like uh, people are actually kind of angry at me from my most recent playthrough, because I, uh -huh. I I started over because I hated the new faction, and they're like, yeah. you know, you. you you should have at least given it a try, and I'm like, I had literally half the score of, like, the next player. Oh, yeah, you didn't stand a chance. Yeah, like, I knew I was fucked. And you all knew I was fucked. And I could have tried to go to war, but, like, the problem is the, the faction specifically, uh, the people would get unhappier every time you made a new city, which isn't necessarily anything new. But it was, like, uh. any, any new city. There wasn't, like, kind of a nice threshold, and you could offset it with technology. It's just, like, you made a new city, fuck you! And that would just Aww. be the way for it. Yeah. And, That's super uh, lame. Yeah. So eventually I just redid the faction. So they didn't get, like, some starting technologies, but, like, whatever. And they were, like, super I'd slow. Like to... Yeah? They sound awful, man. Yeah, so I just... I was gonna say, I'd like to point out that the lighting in the in warehouse number two over here is really, really nice looking. I'll get there in a so second. You have the chance to, like, saunter over here if you get if you get one. I really want to have one of these walls be, like, trapped and we'll just, like, spin, like, rapidly. So, like, um, somebody's just standing next to you and you hit it and the entire thing just goes, like, whoop, and just drops them or, like, flips it. Oh, fuck. Wow. Are you okay? Yeah. No, I'm cool. This is Yeah, nice. this is a really nice looking, like, area. I'm yeah. really digging how this one's coming in, coming out. Bye. Bye. You should, um... Okay, you know what? I'm Get back, back over here, bitch. <laughs> well, I was trying. But now I have no idea where I'm going. You're right here. Okay. You wanna, you wanna take the, like, ultra-crazy approach for the roof? Uh, what is your uh, idea? Well, I was gonna make... I was thinking of making it so that it has, um... Even, like, those little, like, slanted things that some, like, factories have. Yeah. So, <coughs> what I was thinking is, like, we slant it out. So, here, uh, let's see. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, let me, let me show you kind of what I had in mind. So, Let's something like here. that for the roof. Oh! Well, that was some serious... You fall serious. down the tree hole? That was... <laughs> that I just walked off. Oh. <laughs> oh, what is this? Oh, I see what you're going for. Yeah, it looks yeah. lovely. Like, you're gonna have cool. to do it a little bit better than what I did before it fell on uh -huh. my ass. But, like, slat the roof, too, so it's, like, even more nonsense. Well, I can just actually just chuck some of those ventilation things up into the roof. Yeah, it just might break the feng shui. 
Yeah, it might look like a little bit too much repeating material. I don't know. Oh, shit. I keep pressing 1 to get off the uh, toilet. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Okay. Note to self, do not get impatient and hop off toilet while still in motion. This hard cider is, well, this meat is, like, really bad, but really alcoholic. So, like... <laughs> uh-huh. So it works. But kind of gross. Meat is I, okay. I've had meat once or twice, and... Okay. It's kind of like... Oh. So... Th this does taste like something, like, poor peasants would drink. So, well, okay, so you can have really good meat. Like, a good honey meat is amazing. The problem is, most uh -huh. of the time, it just kind of tastes like, um... A slightly more juicier wine-ish. So this is like... Yeah. Uh, this is a really, really, like, um... I'm gonna say, like, a really, uh, wet... You know how, like, wine can be really dry? This yeah. is a This is a really wet wine. This is a good remix. Uh, I like this. Lavender. Yeah, time, this is awesome. Am I right? No, it's not. Uh, Dynamite not Eddie. Pokemon. Okay, yeah. it just sounded so much like Lavender Town with the, like... It really did, yeah. Yep. I really want to do a, uh, Pokemon something with people. Okay, that's cool. I, we need to... What? Oh, I just had a design idea. You want to okay. Do that? Yeah. I don't know, I think a Pokemon race would be fun. Or something yeah. similar. Man, the textures on the air conditioner are really, really low quality. I believe it doesn't matter too much. There really needs to be a ruler in this game. Ooh, this looks fantastic. Let's Too bad you can't. You won't be able to see a lot of these details, but man, do they look good. If I want to do a Pokemon thing, the new game's coming out soon. There is literally no way any of us could actually do anything with the new Pokemon game. Uh, doesn't that one require... A lot of stuff. Yeah, like recording, that's going to be really, really tough. Yeah, there's a reason why I will never, ever feature 3DS games on my channel. Unless people... You can emulate them, but barely? Yeah, uh, they don't emulate well. A capture yeah. card combo is like 400 bucks. And yep. prone to breaking constantly. Yeah. So, like, there's no way I would ever spend the money on something. The chances are it will only last me a couple of years. Like, I can justify an Elgato because it works with multiple consoles. Um, yeah. Despite the fact that I don't do a whole lot of console stuff. You know, computer, absolutely necessary. But, like, a handhold specific streaming thing, I would have to be a Pokemon centric channel to justify that. And that is such a risk that I would never yeah. do it. I mean, if, if somebody wants to donate, like, 500 bucks to me and be like, you're buying a 3DS <laughs> capture card with this, alright, I will, I will play the shit out of whatever 3DS cap, uh, like, 3DS games you want me to. Because at that point. I, I don't could. think that's going to happen. Oh, can you come over here? Can you just uh, remove your lift? Just place it on the ground wherever you are. Oh, I can also just kill it. God, this is alcoholic. I didn't realize I could, like, destroy other people's uh, lifts, apparently. Yeah, you've always been able to do that. Wow. Uh, it's what? bad because Nintendo does goes after Pokemon. No, actually, uh, Nintendo will not go after Pokemon. Uh, Pokemon is not a first-party Nintendo product. Yeah, they really only go after, like, um... Mario. Mario. They, yep. they don't even really go after, like, like Metroid. Nope. It's straight up, like, Mario. Yep. I wonder if, like, speedrunners ever have to deal with, uh, copyright problems. I imagine they would deal with them all the time, right? Yeah, probably. Uh, do I get many donations? I mean, it's like a hundred bucks a month plus random stuff, which I'm all very thankful for, but still.
not nearly as many as some streamers, for sure. There's a ton of Mario Maker YouTubers. Yep. Uh, you have to sign on to the Nintendo uh, Creators Program to get... Um... Really? Yeah. They have a specific program for this? Mm-hmm. It's not a God, program Why are they program? so weird about it? But Just you let us stream this shit. Come on. You sign up for it, and effectively they take 50% of your ad, ad revenue. Wow, that's total ass. Uh-huh. Why do they care? Seriously, Nintendo. Pull the stick out of your ass about streamers already. Nintendo's always been very, uh, very protective Fine. of its IP. It's not even yeah. behind, it's just they don't like, um... They don't like people messing with it. Like, for a while, they didn't even like the idea of Let's Plays. And would just shut them down, uh, carte blanche. Yeah. But they stopped doing that when they realized that, you know... It was hurting their profits? Yeah. Because they weren't getting advertisements anymore? Yeah. Um... So they created the creators program so they get some of it mm -hmm. and like okay fine whatever it's their it's their prerogative yeah people are saying nintendo is very conservative this is true another weird issue with with nintendo is that like they try to pretend that they're not a video games company to like their boardroom for whatever reason like i've heard that like nintendo press conferences and, and shareholder meetings are really really strange because they try to like deny like, they don't talk about the fact that they make video games and stuff like that. Weird. They're just saying, like, oh, you know, in this quarter we're projected to make this much profit due to the release of the next product and stuff. But they, like, never talk about the fact that they actually just make video games. That's strange. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't paid a whole lot of attention to it. I mean, it's a good company, it's just behind the times. Yeah. Sega is equally bad in a lot of cases. Yeah, definitely. Uh, s mm, maybe not. No, 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 no. Sorry, it's Capcom. Capcom is the really bad one. Oh, Capcom is super behind the times. Yeah, they, like they, they're crazy about like Mega Man LPs. They just don't like them for whatever reason. They don't like anything. Uh, they're actually taking down Let's Plays for one of their games specifically because uh, a new game in the series was coming out. Wow, so like, that's yeah. the worst idea. I don't remember which game it was, but effectively, the new, the newest game in the series was coming out, so they took down all competing Let's Plays to, um... That's the ter... That's when people are going to be looking at your, like, Let's Plays the most and getting the most eyes on your game. What the hell are they thinking? Well, they wanted, uh, they wanted the YouTube search ranking, so when people search for the game, they would get the trailer for the new one, as opposed to oh, I dumb see. Let's Plays of the old one. Which I can, I can see, but it's still dumb. Almost, as, it's dumb as hell. Yeah. Then again, Capcom's been kind of like this weird dinosaur for a while, so I can kind of understand why. Like people desperately want like a good Mega Man, and they're like, "Nah, fuck you." Yeah. To the point where like. You know what uh, game company I really have very little respect for? Like a classic one is Namco. Namco. I mean, Pac-Man. Yeah, well, you know they made, uh... Well, they're in charge of Dark Souls, right? Yep. That's, like, the one thing I can get behind on them. Everything else sucks. I mean, they have just completely destroyed their Pac-Man IP at this point. Just crappy, crappy title after crappy title. Ah, shit. Oh, I can fix this up to be a little bit better. I'm trying to think of companies I had a ton of respect for, but I've lost. Blizzard? Mm, no. I've always respected Blizzard for pretty much everything. I, I know a lot of people have really disliked what they've done with the Warcraft IP. To be like fair, after World of Warcraft, it changed. The like the whole company culture changed so much. But yeah. you know, at well, the same time, I still appreciate what they've done with everything. 
I don't know, I still consider Blizzard to be pretty positive across the board. Yeah. Like, um... I mean, the Overwatch controversy was a bit of a slight, but, like, whatever. Who cares? It's still a damn good game. And, like, worth playing uh, for the most you, part. Do you mean the, uh, the, the streamer, right? Or, like, the beta thing, or what? No, the, the, the butt pose. The, oh. I mean, if they didn't like it and somebody said, like, oh, yeah, we don't like it either, and then they were like, okay. I think that's a pretty fair thing for them to do. Well, did you hear what they did in response? Oh, yeah, their weird half ass compromise is the worst. What? No, they made a pinup girl uh, pose afterwards. That's like the opposite yeah. of a compromise. I actually like that. I thought that was kind of a classy callback. I... Well, I mean, isn't Tracer's thing that she's kind of like a pinup girl looking thing? I don't really remember. I mean, she's got she's got a spandex lower half. I don't know. What do you want to call it? Yes. <laughs> she's wearing spandex tights. Unless she wore like a bomber jacket. She's got a bomber jacket. Part of her costume. She, she's got more or less a bomber jacket, but she's got like spandex tights uh, for, you know, her legs and ass. Of course you're going to see the ass. Like, that's part of the reason why I don't see a whole lot of controversy here. League of Legends is like awful about the sexualization of their people. And people get uh -huh. angry about this, like, butt in a Blizzard game. And I'm like, have you seen, like, some of the armor designs of World of Warcraft? Why weren't you mad then? I'm sure they probably were. <laughs> no? I've never heard of the controversy about a Blitter Blizzard title. Eh. <laughs> Drunk. Blizzard title in such a long time. Like, um, the last time people were angry about it was uh, the launch of Diablo, which was understandable, but, like, they had no way of knowing that it was going to be that bad. They shoulda, but whatever. Oh, you mean Diablo 3? Yeah. What did I say, Diablo 2? I was like, uh, well, no, you just you just said Diablo, so I was thinking of oh. Diablo 1. And I was like, I remember that launch. I remember it being pretty pretty hyped. Like, I don't remember any, like, controversy. And that just made me feel kind of old. I remember, like, watching, like, the... Uh, launch trailers for Diablo and being like, this game looks amazing. I remember looking at the launch trailers for StarCraft. And that thing looked awesome. Because I remember they were really hyping the carrier. Uh, yeah. And I was like, this is like the coolest looking thing I've ever seen in my life. It's a spaceship that, that, that shoots spaceships. Yeah. How was this... This is not... I've never seen anything so amazing. There's a really big reason why I was never very good at the competitive scene in uh, StarCraft. Mainly because... Like cool units too much? Yeah, like, I, I never yeah. cared for, like, m actual meta strategy. I'm just like, fuck it. Carriers. Fun. Yeah, uh, the problem with rushing, like, top-tier flyers is that that's a terrible, terrible strategy. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you just, like, parasite them and they go down like nothing? Yep. Uh, or Scourges. Yeah. Those little, like, kamikaze things. Those are called yep. Scourges, right? I don't remember. I don't know. I, I think played. so. Yeah. Uh, at some point we should get our hands on the, the latest expansion for StarCraft. Because it's got co-op missions. Oh, yeah. That's definitely something I want to do then. <laughs> I'm just waiting for it to go on sale for, like, 20 bucks. So, like, in a year. I mean, whenever they have a sale, it usually goes down that cheap. I just forgot about really? it, because, yeah. It actually, like, Blizzard is okay about sales. It's usually 50% off. Never any ah. lower than that, but, like, whatever. 